Back here with another Winter Sports Update. We have the Cal one and only. Kyle Crow. A um, little bit about Cal. We're going to talk about some wrestling. Oh, we just had districts yesterday. Yep. Um, I was fortunate to be a part of that. I got to see the Bedford and uh, Lennox kid. Lennox kid see lots of success. A um, little bit about um, Cal's history I was going over with him. I was able to watch him win his um, AAU state title last year. In third grade, I believe he said he won the state title. And then you said Super Pee Wee, he won second yep. grade, right? Yep. So I'm going to start calling him this point in time the back to back two time. Like, maybe we're going to say you win three this year, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about districts. Tell me how it went. Um, good. I. You wrestle well? Yeah. Good. Stay in good position? Yep. Okay. What are some things you think you need to work on? Well, going into what the next three weeks before the shots. state, the shots. shots. Okay, some hand fighting maybe. Yep. Um, and head fighting things like that. Yep. Good. Um, lots of success. Um, with when I say AAU districts, I'm meaning eighth below. Um, AAU districts for wrestling is considered third, through eighth grade, but you can allow second graders if they're um, competitive. Which, um, Linux team did have a couple kids that showed up and competed at a high level for second graders. Um, I want to say it was 14 or 15 kids went, correct? Mm -hmm. um, hey, um, I'm going to have Leah, can you just fact check that for me real quick? She's going to run some numbers, see how many we got. Um, and I saw they did a post and they um, congratulating Jackson Samo, uh, Crew Larson, Emmett Samo. E oh, Grayson England did. Um, Tyler mm -hmm. Owen. Turner Larson, Braden Lopez, Bruce Parrish, obviously Cal, Chase O'Reilly, Wiley Brokaw, Mac Parrish, Jordan Caster, all advancing to the state tournament in three weeks. I believe it's like yep. the 25th and 26th. Something like that, yep. Um, at Two days. Wells Fargo, right? Yep. So, tell me what you think about that. How excited. was it last year? You, how did you feel going into the tournament? Super excited. It was... Um, you a uh, little bit of pressure going off making the second day, or was it just that much more out of pressure you felt going to the second day of the tournament? It was – well, I didn't wrestle the second day of the tournament because oh, I only it, had – was it over? Before? Yeah, it was over Saturday, so. I still I still remember watching you win your finals match. It was pretty yeah. cool. Pretty cool. Pretty fun stuff. Um, I'm fortunate enough that I get to come in um, and work with Cal a little bit and some of the, the Linux kids – when we start getting closer to districts, the Bedford um, youth program and Linux come in together. Uh, just got lots of kids that are very talented and they can compete with one another. I'm fortunate enough to that I get to wrestle this guy one on one, and he beats me up, makes me feel old, but it's fun, right? Learn yep. stuff, always getting better, always competing. Yep. Um, what do you guys think you need to do um, better to get really like locked in come um, state time? Or you just keep doing on what you're doing? What I mean, you? we got to keep practicing like we're doing and not. Intensity high? Yep. Good. Awesome. Well, um, congratulations. Hopefully I get Thank to you. watch you win another state title. Yep. Um, hopefully all these guys that um, qualified, hopefully they can make it on there and just compete at a high level. Yep. I'm, I'm excited. It's always, wrestling is always a fun thing to watch. Yep. Um, well, that's the update here. Like I said, thank you, Kyle, for coming in. This is one of the greatest youth wrestlers that Lennox has probably had, arguably. Especially, I don't know how many have won um, actual state AAU state championship. Live here back with another winter sports update. Um, we have Chase England here. Um, was it this past weekend you got 100 wins? Yep. I want to talk about a little bit about his success on the mat. Um, I do, I even want to bring up, is it high altitude, right? Things like that, because he does wrestle all year round. Um, not, no offense. It takes, it's a lot harder to make a hundred wins than it is to score a thousand points. <laughs> but, um, you want to talk through that process of when you first started wrestling to where you're at now? Yeah. So I was in like, uh, before kindergarten. I was just wrestling around in the room a little bit. There was no age group because I was too young. 
And then I went to my first ever tournament down in Bedford and ended up getting second. And I had to bump up to the kindergarten age group. Oh, nice. And then I think that might have been the only tournament I went to that year. And then third grade, I started high altitude and have been working there up to now. Just keep grinding away. I did not realize they'd been around that long. Yeah. So you, it makes sense why you have so much how to close gear. Yeah. Like, that's right, though. Um, it takes a special person to be able to. It's a grind. For me, it's just, it's hard. But yeah. it says a lot about a person to be able to continually go through the hardships to find that type of success. Um, that's another thing I'll ask Leah to do is I wonder, I don't want to say how many because there's probably not a lot the amount of wrestlers for Linux that have Hunter wins. <clears throat> it's hard to come by. Yeah. I mean, it's few and far between, and it says something. Um, what do you expect to see this year? Um, I, I want to put the cart before the horse. I believe you're going to do very well at districts. I, I believe seeing you wrestle that you are going to place at state. That That's um, where I'm planning on, yeah. What, what do you think you need to continue to do to develop and um, – see that type of success happen for districts and state? Uh, I just need to keep working hard in the practice room with Dylan and JJ because I think all three of us could make it on the stand. Hammers, I guess. Yeah, going through film, stuff we need to work on this week. We got all week before districts to prepare. Yeah. What type of um, – how do you handle being nervous before your matches? What are some of the things that go through – through your head that you try to fight and, and how do you go through that uh i've wrestled enough i don't really get nervous that bad but if i do i just think of it as it's just another match doesn't yeah. it's just doesn't really it's not that important uh, yeah. it is but it isn't it, it, yeah i um i try to tell my son like hey i i want almost like a positive overload of mindset i want you like to visualize and that you will be successful because it's, it's easy for those to start creeping in, like, you know, this guy might be better than me, what yeah. this, what this happens. So we just got to stay positive. We're, we can win matches, big matches. Because a lot of times, like, you're at a high enough level. <clears throat> a lot of times it's not skill and technique. It's just the mindset Mental. that can sometimes block you from being what I believe you'll be. So um, where are districts? I know I talked to – is it Little Magnolia or no? Riverside. Riverside? Okay, and that's this coming weekend. Yep. And then when's the state tournament, Wells Fargo? Uh, starts the 14th. What's the week, week before? It's the next yeah. week. Okay. Hey, uh, well, I look forward to um, seeing you do it districts. I look forward to watching you at the state tournament. I'll be there. Sounds good. It'll be fun. Um, thanks for having us, um, and good luck. Um, Thank good you. Good luck to all the guys. Um, hopefully, we can send even a couple more, right? Yeah. There's your update for today. Back here with another winter sports update. We have Dave Funk. Um, here to talk a little bit about basketball. Some fairly um, impressive things, not as impressive as wrestling, um, that Gabe has uh, done in his career. One of the things is um, the Thousand Point Club. Did you start as a freshman? Yeah. And were you playing? Were you all four, like quarters, or how were you? Yeah, you were. Like, yeah, I'd come off. I'd sit on the bench a little bit, but not much. Has it? Have you seen the breakdown from season to season for numbers? Like, how do you mean improving? Yeah, like on yeah. Your total numbers from freshman to sophomore. Yeah, they've year. they've improved. I feel more comfortable out there. I'd say. And then he's he is only a junior, which is kind of a big deal. I hear a couple things about him for from other schools. Wishing that he would be a senior. Check it that. That's a good thing to have, right? Yeah. People worrying about you. Um, What's your um, highest um, points in the game this year? I think 32, maybe 33. Okay. And what was your percentage from the three that we were talking about earlier? Do you remember I, what it comes? I would not. I think it's around 30. Oh, okay. thought it for some reason you said 17 point, like eight or nine, but I would. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a basketball guru, so I'm not sure on the stats here. Leah, can you check that? Check, fact, check that for us, and then we'll um we'll update you guys later. 
Um, as a team, though, what do you guys focus on tonight? And, you know, you got playoffs coming down the road in what, a couple weeks? Next week. Next week? I think so. But they, I believe that they do not have the format out yet. You don't know who you're playing. Mm-mm. What are some things you're emphasizing on? Uh, the offense in a groove, kind of bring up the intensity on defense. We've kind of, sometimes we slouch on defense. Okay. So we gotta kind of bring that energy. Okay. Move the ball a little faster, maybe move it around a little bit. Yeah. Get some shots. Get you up. the ball. What? I said get you the ball. Yeah. Is that the, is that the main <laughs> emphasis or no? That's a good plan. That's a good plan. I like that. I like that confidence. Okay. And then come districts. Yeah, how did you guys do last year? Did you make it? Made it to the far? district final and lost. Okay. Uh, who was the team? Grandview Christian. They went on the Wednesday. Do they? Yeah. Tough team. No, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. No, I was I was just actually honestly just asking. Yeah. Well, that's something to hang your head on that one. You got good teams like that. Well, good. Well, um, like I said, we're going to have Leah check that and what we're – there cannot be very many individuals that have scored 1,000 points to school, right? Oh, we have some stats. We have. Let me look at this first. Here we go. Here we go. And it's okay to read out loud. There's nothing embarrassing here. Oh man. Thirty percent, pretty much on the dot from three. Oh, we. We're pretty good. Let's see here. Oh, you are decent, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, some would say. Some would say. <laughs> You know what you're reading there? When I, I'm just comparing to other people. Yeah, Carter's a pretty good shooter. Dawson's a pretty good shooter. Here, I said this down here. What are you looking at? I was I was seeing, like, Dawson. Yeah. This and I three. was just comparing you and Dawson to see what they were like. Yeah. Hey, Dawson's a better shooter than I am. No, I was just seeing, like, how many. Oh, I... oh yeah. We're good. I'm but excited. lots of juniors, I feel like, you know, so you just have nothing but time to grow and develop and see great things out of you. Yeah. As long as you stay healthy, right? Yeah. And then get in the weight room this summer. Of course. Awesome. Well, that's all I got for you. Thanks. All right. It's Thank great. You. Thank great you. Finally having you come on the show. Back here with another winter update. Um, we have a couple participants that went to state speech this weekend. Um, I'm Greenlee Ramsey. I'm Lucy Zach. Um, this was located at the Ankeny Centennial School. Um, with the musical theater, correct? Is what you guys perform- mm-hmm. performed in? Did you, was that the only thing you performed in or did you do multiple? Um, that was the only thing. That was the only thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, with the musical theater, I want you to... I want, I want to talk to you and ask you again about um, your favorite part of musical theater, like your class. Like, what is your favorite part about it? Um, probably just like the practices and like um, working together to create the choreography and stuff. It's fun. I agree. Just like getting, like just kind of just like hanging out and just picking out together. Being with your friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best memories, right? Mm-hmm. How. How often do you have, um, I want to say competitions, because this isn't the, is it, did you have any before that you would to get ready to There's prepare? districts, and okay. then if you get a one at districts, then you go on state. Okay, and where was districts at? Um, wait, it was close. It was um, Creston, maybe? Was Creston, it? but it was very it was close. Know. It was now, close, I don't know. Was that two or three weeks ago? Was that uh, a couple weeks before? Yeah, I think it was a week before. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. One or two. Okay. And we are fortunate enough, we have 20 participants that um, competed um, and went to state speech. And there are different, like, things. So you have, like, musical theater and what are some other? Improv. Improv. Mining. My, yeah. Yep. There's, like, like, you can do, like, speeches. Okay. And... That is on a rating system. Mm-hmm. The best you can get is a one, correct? Mm-hmm. And what's the lowest score you can get? Five. A five. five. Um, and the two individuals we have here, 
uh, received a one rating, which is the highest rating that you can get. Um, a very big deal. Um, the school, I know, I've had several people talk to me about it. Um, very proud of you guys. It's ser it's seriously a big deal. I I know when I talked to you guys earlier, like there have been several people come up to me and talk about how you guys received a one rating and how hard it is to do that. Like, so hats off to you guys for putting in the work because it's not something that you can just go in and get. You know, it takes a lot of time, like lots of repetitions, and I'm sure even like with the musical theater, how you guys said you had to. Um, there's like a lot of dancing to get that to both of you to do that and perform. There's a lot of repetition, right? Yeah. Like, so tell me about um, your. How do you feel before your performance? When you had when you went to Acme Centennial before your musical theater um, performance, like how did you both feel? Um, I was pretty nervous, but. Um... Like right before we went on, I just like felt calm on the same. Okay. Yeah. I was really nervous, but we'd done it once before. Right. District, right. So. You already been there? Yep. Yeah. The moment wasn't too big, lights weren't too bright, right? Yep. And you performed great? Yeah. Awesome. Um, tell me what song you chose. For Good from Wicked. And Reason? Because um, they're friends. <laughs> We're friends. They're two best friends? Mm hmm And you guys just enjoyed the, the lyrics and... Things like that. Um, how many judges are there for this? Three. Three different judges. And we had 20 participants, and I found out um, that this isn't just like a 1A, 2A, 3A. This is this is state. So you're talking. When you guys, what time did you guys uh, have to be there at Centennial? Did you have to stay the night before you drove up that morning? No. We drove up that morning. That morning? Okay. And our performance was around 11, but we went with everybody. So I think, okay. did we get on the bus at 7? Yeah. yeah. She left early in the morning to get there? <laughs> okay. We talked about best memories. We talked about the one rating. Um, we just talked about teams. Anything else you guys like to add? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, we appreciate you coming on. Um, I appreciate I know it's nerve-wracking to be on here. I appreciate you guys coming on. Um, hopefully, we can continue to grow the speech program yeah. for more kids. Because yeah. we had 20 participants, it'd be cool if we could get like 40 next year. Like <laughs> that requires you guys going out and recruiting too, on top of the teachers, mm -hmm. right? Because with your guys' help, it can become a very big program and a dominant program. We obviously have a good teacher, Mrs. Miss Boshi. Miss Boshi. And Miss Mo. So, hats off to both of them for. Um, helping mold you two um, to become as great as you performed, right? Because without great coaches, it's mm -hmm. hard to perform at a high level. Okay. Well, um, thank you for being on the show with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, yo, you no. Know, if you're athletic and you run and jump, you play basketball. Not always. Yeah. You don't you, know why I say not always. What, name a wrestler that could play basketball. That can? Yeah. Mark Stevens can take yeah. No, wait. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Wait, no. Not, no. Oh, no. I would never make that statement. Court. It's like okay. this, but I, you're talking like a fish out of water, though. It'd be like you guys. No, come wrong. Wrestle. I heard that you had a good little knee pull on Eli. Yeah, he killed, I destroyed him. Okay, but I'm saying, like, if, <laughs> imagine. <strong> last year. <laughs> Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Anybody can join whoa. wrestling and okay. be... Whoa. whoa, All right, anyone can. Not, okay. Anyone can. Not if you wrestle kids that play as much. Well, I guess oh, yeah. we, you could argue... Yeah, which one than me? Exactly. You could argue it doesn't, doesn't take a freak athlete to wrestle. You just have to be smart and you have to be conditioned, but... I think you take your you, average wrestler and your average basketball player and you swap them. The basketball to wrestler player will succeed more than your wrestler to basketball player. I don't know, man. Like it. The only thing that's super tough about wrestling is it is mentally challenging. Yeah. Like going in there and grinding on top of like if you're even a couple pounds, you're trying to cut a couple pounds. You are just changing your daily routine for what four or five months. For competition, as yeah. don't take this wrong way. 
Okay. You get you can eat whatever you want. Yeah. Live your best life twenty four seven. I'm gonna go play basketball. I'm gonna go shoot some hoops. That's, that's, that's a privilege of, so of being fun. a basketball player. They text your for friends asking if they want to go out to eat on Friday nights. <laughs> I invite him because I want to spend time with my friends, you know? Oh, listen and to this. It's like, I can't, I can't go. Oh, okay. Friday nights. But I, I do you understand what you're saying. There are lots of athletes, because I used to say this, and my sheriff, he never told me I ate my words, but he could have. I always said, in order to have a tough football team, you need to have it filled with wrestlers. Yeah, I do agree with that. But you look at Bedford, Bedford's got like – we have three total guys. Yeah. The rest of those dudes are all basketball players. So I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. So I'll just keep I'll I, keep, keep I, my lips in for that. I'll agree with that. So what what part would you agree with? The, what was this guy getting too cut? That you're wrong? Yeah, I was wrong. Yeah. No. Because clearly, like, they were pretty good at football. They're all basketball players. Mm-hmm. Athletes. It's debatable. I think you look at it from. I'm trying to think of. I think him and JJ would be fine going playing basketball. Do you not agree? JJ would. Chase. Look, at, he's like. What are you like six one? No, no. I'm saying. Look how tall you are. It's not like you can't jump and can't move people. You know, he, he, you know he he's would, gonna be physical. Be big body, yeah. Being a wrestler, yeah. like. Those are just that's just two to name. You know, like, like two. I'm trying. I don't know. Dukes. I bet Bedford kid. Dude's yeah. like six two, six three. He's probably. Put him underneath. Yeah. Right. There's there's a there's a, a there's a big body, but then there's a basketball player, you know? There's a difference. Oh we're getting, it's getting now we just get out of control. I have a civil conversation. Now control. we're just getting You're too out much. of control. <laughs> wow. I appreciate you guys seriously coming in. Yeah.